following the passage of hurricane burial many people have been asking where is engine i'm not seeing engine what did the hurricane do to engine today we did not only get the engine but we got mommy Dells and alia listen mommy Dell have a, a wonderful experience to share with you i mean it's not a wonderful experience but quite an, an informative experience to share um, with the passage of Hurricane Janet, which she experienced, and the Hurricane Burial. And she will share with us today, man. I beg, I beg. Man, engine, engine, we beg, and we get you right. <laughs> yeah. We get you, we get you. Ah, Miss Dells, I'm so, so happy to see you on the camera today. Africa, Alia. Mm -hmm. Alia learning, she'll be learning, listening and learning about Hurricane Janet, what it did to Carico and Pidgey Matnik and Alia has own experience with Hurricane Barry. Elika, Alia, plenty of people would like to see you. Hi, you seen Alia? Where is Culture Kids? <laughs> Alia, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Right. Engine, you there? Yeah, man. Mommy Dells? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're good. Mm -hmm. Right. So listen, today is Monday and today makes it about 11 weeks, 11, 12 weeks since the passage of Hurricane Beryl. Hurricane Beryl passed. It was uh, Monday morning. And Italia was a Monday morning. Yes. Right. And today is Monday. And uh, Hurricane Janet, well, it passed the Thursday, but it passed between the 22nd and 23rd. It started on the 22nd and continued into the wee morning of the 23rd. So today is the 23rd of September. Um, so yesterday and today, we're remembering the passage of Hurricane Janet and uh, as well, Hurricane Beryl, which passed on this day and Monday. Mommy Dells. Oh, all right. So we start with Injin. Injin, what do you remember about Hurricane Janet? You won't remember anything. It was only three months, isn't it? Yeah, man. You've always been telling us that in your interviews. Mm -hmm. And the... But it's like I see Janet. The Amanda history I hear on it from ever since because of the loss. I lost my brother. Mm -hmm. My mother got she and break. And so it just has this thing I, I see. Okay, but so I just can't remember it. Right. So remind us. I mean, for people that didn't see that part of it, so <clears> tell <throat> us about what happened, what transpired. Um, tell us your brother's name and and what transpired. Well, my brother's name was Edio. Uh, At the time, he used to work by Pat, uh, working in Patterson House, and he come out from work in the evening and come home, and then the news about the. Storm, the hurricane coming. We didn't know, no one them can't people, um, my brother, them so didn't know about hurricane, but they know something different coming. <laughs> so when the thing start the night, my mother and my brother and I will be up there. No, no, I will uh, take me below the bed with them. <laughs> I was in the center. <laughs> My mother in a hen and my brother in a hen. Mm. And my mother had a wall house at the time. Mm. The wall crumbled, mm. fell and mashed the bed, mm. fell across my, pressed across my brother's stomach mm. and killed him, mm. break my mother's hand. Mm. And in the center where I did between them, it just barely grazed my head. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, I was the only one who come out under the bed, under the bed, scotch free. Ah, boy. Yeah. God was with you. And then after y'all came out from the, well, people got y'all out, and y'all came out, something happened with you after well, that night? Yes, well, when they're going for shelter, and the neighbor, mm -hmm. I escaped from them when they have me, and they don't know. Mm -hmm. It's when they meet in the dogs in a garden stairs. As we neighbor, and they're looking to clean me up or whatever, clean everybody. I was there, <laughs> <laughs> and they go back out, and they find me in the river going there, the river they go there with me. Wow, you're here for a purpose, man. Yes. So you me, you escaped it. And in the darkness, you know, because yeah. I, I can't remember. I don't you remember, remember them things. Mm -hmm. Three months. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They happened to get me out from here, eat a little water, mm-hmm. bring me up, and mm-hmm. I'm here to be thanks and praise this to the most high. What village was that? Mount Royal. Mount Royal. Or Larry Seuss. All right. Mommy Dells, we're coming to you now. Yeah. What village you grew up in? Leicester. Leicester. Oh, <laughs> that was on Leicester <laughs> Beach. Leicester. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yes. So that day was, it was a school day, but then they didn't have school. I could remember the pastor around ringing a bell and warning people about the hurricane that is to come. But like children, we didn't know nothing about hurricane. Rain coming, children playing, and we were by the beach, we watching the seawater raging. And every time the wheels break, we run, and when we go back, we go by the sea. That bear is by the bear grew up, eh? mm-hmm. So, but later on the day, the mother said we have to go to a shelter. <laughs> then we get in ready to go to the shelter because, you know, I, after 12 evening time, the wind starts raging up. But you don't want to go because you want to stay and watch. <laughs> Not what the gonna, danger? <laughs> thing is going to get worse. Hmm. So we day it started to rain, 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 and my mother said we have to go, we have to leave the house and go. So it was, my brother Tom was in there. I think they went to Greenville and they were coming back that very day. So I think this was one of the things we were on the beach, watching to see when the boat would come. Mm-hmm. But um, when the time come for us to go, we have a sister, Elsie, and my mother. The bigger sister, which is member, as everybody knew. We have a cousin who lives next door, he lives alone. So my mother sent her to go and get, get him to come across where we were going. We were going by a cousin of ours and mama dear, not too far from us. <laughs> we ain't taking us five minutes to get to walk to get there. So we leave home maybe about after four, five days. Even in time, it was raining. My sister Elsie had a, we called Jean to a meeting in the garden, she said she told court. <laughs> so we're going across rain coming, river running, because in those days, everybody at the back of the house, they had a drain. So water, the river could run off. And so when everybody used to open the drain, <laughs> so the water running, and from us, the water run and go down on the beach. So the rain coming and the river, Running, so my sister, my mother raised my big sister Elsie bigger than me. They are going to show that. So when my mother step across the drain, <laughs> I holding she dress out to step. So I go down in the drain. Oh Lord Jesus! When I go down in the drain, I turn and I say, I wish I did drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, they well, Mister, oh Lord, you you was like mm. about five six. No, I never. Was. So, so you know when you go down and you're drunk, that is it with you? Well, it's just, you know, <laughs> not drink to bring you going. Oh, around okay, the house, okay, dream. okay. But I just feel it's me that you want to show you. Sure, sure be carried because you're the little I one. I feel it's one else is the big one. Yes, yes. And mother son and she say, oh God, that you say? I say, yes. <laughs> Because it's me you should have on your shoulder. <laughs> so she said, well, Elsie foot sick. So yes. that's why she didn't want Elsie foot to go in the water. Okay. That's why she raised it now. Yeah. Anyhow, that done, we leave when we go across where we were going by a cousin of ours. We called Mama Gay. Mm-hmm. We got her upstairs and downstairs. And you know, they have this trap door. Mm-hmm. People that think should really be that in the house yes. now. Yes. They have this trap door and then they have this stick. So we downstairs. Bigger people upstairs, children downstairs, making noise and you know what is it? <laughs> yeah, they walk with that outside. Who praying, praying, who uh-huh. singing, singing, and we all there. Uh-huh. Then when my mother sent my big sister to get a cousin of ours, we call Harry. But then we would notice they ain't coming. Night come and they ain't coming. And we get in worried. Mother for child, she got her there out there. Mm-hmm. And night it starts to get dark because it has rain coming and things it's getting darker faster. You see everybody coming for shelter and we ain't seen us when despite the plane, but you worry your big sister, you can't see them what happened. <laughs> Anyhow, 
for 2018. And I think I ain't able to say the man came naked, stripped naked, he went take out all the clothes on him. What? But she said when she all out she begging him to come here to go let her go, let her go he didn't want to go. So she tell him where she gets to go, leave him and go, she, you know, she had to go. And she said when she leaves to go, she decided he won't want to come down the steps. He had about six treaders to come down. And she said when they get on the last tread of the house for Jesus. But if house fall, the other we didn't fall with it, but it right. fall the other. That. Uh, yes. And she said, well, they leave coming. They don't know where to, which way to go because wind blowing. No, and you there is water raging, sea water raging. So she said, they leave to come. Not knowing where the head is, where it's up there, where down there, because oh, you that. just come out there and house fall down, it blow your mind off. But she says, when like a coconut tree because that was a deep hole where the root up mm -hmm. it fall down in the hole and when the water splashed she realized the water was salt so she realized that the heading towards the bay the heading towards the where they were going is the like water. because you know a coconut tree where yes. cousin lives coconut, coconut tree and then is down by the bay side Mm -hmm. So if you taste the water, it means you live by the bay. Yes. So she tell him where they have to turn the up for the direction. Right. And so they do and they come. So when they come, they got everybody glad and yes. praying and yes. thinking we was worried about them. Oh my God. What and an the experience. The night day, every minute. Mm -hmm. I could remember a man, my godfather, who was so rescued to snow back home to us. Mm -hmm. He was one of the men I remember on the door. Mm -hmm. He had drum with corn and the body wind pressing the door opening inside. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you had to back up the door. So the wind pressing the door and they had to stand up there. They jump behind the door and every minute they open to watch what going on. Like little children, you peep in, you ain't seen nothing but you peep in. Right. And I could remember at one point in time they say it seemed like we have fire because they see the place was red. <laughs> so like there was a fire, maybe Tom or somewhere. Mm -hmm. We end up we stayed there the night. We praying, we praying, we praying, we praying, we singing, singing, and children we praying. Mm -hmm. We ain't know the danger them time there. Right. We never see or pray anything. So. And then we end up with spending night, daylight, the morning, they pray and they come out outside and give God thanks for the night. <laughs> but like children, when we get out today, we're looking for sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop that fall. <laughs> children go and look for sweetie. So listen now, uh, this looting thing there a long time because now after a hurricane, you see people going by other people's place looking for things. But those days, you're all looking for sweetie. Sweetie, <laughs> because we're young, sweetie, we love sweetie. Sweetie and thing. Anyhow, we finish that and we go home. And I go home and I watch you place. We house it completely fall, kind of lean. Mm -hmm. But a lot of coconut and jelly and things for us. And I ah. decide, I'm going to pick up jelly and coconut. I'm going to pick up all the coconut from the neighbor tree. <laughs> so you pick them up and you go with it? I bring all in the yard. Jesus. <laughs> oh, that reminds me of, of a wrong burial man. Yeah. And even I found uh, all coconut on the ground. All coconut yeah. Mm -hmm. So we pick up them coconut. And we bring it and bring it home in the garden. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then everybody enjoy, you know, going about and looking to see what happened. Mm -hmm. People was in the rest of school. I could remember as a child of begging my mother. I didn't want to go in the, in the school because there was a shot. Hey. People staying there. And I want to go and stay in it. Well, look at that. Leicester School is something that to your heart. The Leicester Rosary School. School. Leicester Rosary yes. School. <laughs> All over begging my mother. Mm -hmm. I want to go in the school in the shelter and stay there. She said, no, no. I'm not going there. Because in the night you could hear people singing, ah. Nancy Tori, everything. Oh, nice. Beg, oh. beg, beg. I never get to go and spend a night in a Oh, no. Oh, and how I love to be there, you know, you want to deal with your friends. And yes, day, yes, we well, with your friends. Day, yes. They're praying, they're singing, and they're home. 
Yeah. Ah, yeah, the school are building. School building 55. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so that time you just finished building. Mm. Listen, uh, you spoke about the darkness, and that's something I could testify about because with the passage of Hurricane Beryl, I remember joy driving from point A to point B, let's say driving from Belle to Top Hill. I've been tell telling Daisy and Lisa and them, I don't know where I was. Mm -hmm. I mean, even though the vehicle have light, but outside is pitch dark, mm -hmm. so you don't know anything. Yeah. So your your family, I mean, coming out from the house and heading to the other house, she didn't know where she was going in through. She could have gone in the sea. Oh Lord Jesus. And then something that you mentioned again regarding the um the drum of concert that they used to 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 um block the door. So those days he had a lot of agriculture. Mm -hmm. So you remember what happened to the crops then? Well, most of the crops, some of them spoiled those that didn't quite match you yet. Mm -hmm. Some of those that wash away, wash away, and people pick up what was left, whatever they could get. Mm -hmm. yeah, but that drum of corn was from years before. Right. Long time people had to make their corn. They have it in drum for years. Yes. yes. That's yes. the thing about the dark culture. Mm -hmm. was something big mm -hmm. back then. Yes, almost mm -hmm. everybody used to have the corn island drum or in last on top of their kitchen in a thing they call last. Okay. Where you're going up there and you're packing the corn. Because the, the, the galvanizer and they have more in the forest, it's like they pack it up. Mm -hmm. So they have a thing they call uh, okay, like this year you make a thing and you pack up and you're going in uh -huh. and still when you're going in and you're packing, you're starting to come by the okay. and everything you're oh, really? and you're packing, packing and you're packing it up inside. Ah, so it's the smoke. Used to be something like a semi -attic. The smoke okay. from you cooking in the kitchen, curing the corn up there. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. But sometimes rat is to eat it too on them. Mm. <laughs> when there's no fire, rat going and fish. Right, right. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. But I mean, with hurricane burial, engineer a farmer. Hurricane burial. What did the hurricane do? I mean, we're not going to burial yet. I still want. To. Oh, Miss Dells, you finished with, with Janet? We could go well, to Berlin. Yes, so far, I, didn't, um, I don't know how many people really died, but I, know oh, right. I lost a cousin the morning after Janet. Uh -huh. She was uh -huh. living in town opposite Maria Scott, there in that house here. Yeah? Uh -huh. And they said the morning after Janet, when she wake up and she watched the devastation, Heart oh, something like that happened to somebody after burial. Mm -hmm. I remember this. Yes, mm -hmm. a lady came out of this. Right. Yes, she walked on. Mm -hmm. the ah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This devastation after so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. but as a child, I can't tell you. I'm they said people. plenty of people died, but yes. that wasn't in children's head who died. That, right, you know, right. you weren't thinking about that. All you uh, know, your people around you safe, and that was. Yes, a lot. Yeah. I heard a lot of people got injured. Yeah, people, people in Pitimatni, yeah. people in Karaku. Then a few people told us about people who died for them. Um, Dan Jackson, he grew up with his grandparents, so he said mm -hmm. his grandmother died during that time. Mm -hmm. Then um, Mr. Jonathan in Pits, in Bellevue yeah. South, mm -hmm. yes, he said that his grandmother died as well. And then, well, in Jean Brother, mm -hmm. then I heard of a baker woman that went to the Seventh Day Church to shelter the hurricane and she died. So, mm -hmm. quite a couple of people died. Mm -hmm. Yes. I mean, back then, it had a lot of houses and what type of houses were they? I don't know, with a hurricane, we're wondering about galvanize, if the galvanize would blow on us and what yeah, type of um, houses? Long time, there were galvanized houses. Okay. But there were also a lot of what we used to call water houses. Okay. Yeah. Water houses. Water, yeah. And dam. Yeah, but people were living in the water house. And grass stop. Mm -hmm. uh, grass stop houses as well. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, okay. And then those days they didn't have electricity. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> so listen. 
Right. And another thing, okay, I know I follow in the passage of Hurricane Burial. Everyone in Diaspora wanted to know what happened to the family back home. How did you all get the information as to what took place in Caracol with family members? How did people um, overseas know what happened? Maybe after how okay. I'm um, Janet, Janet, sorry. Yes. Well, the truth is again. Letter writing. So you have to write a letter and then. Mm -hmm. Ah. Well, they, they had, a, they had, um, this, when it was, where I used to do. My post office. They sent in people to send cable. <coughs> okay. Yes, because I remember people from abroad, they, they had a guy who used to go around and bring a cable with him. Uh huh. Yeah, it's whatever. It's, maybe they were doing the phone communication and then they okay. So maybe mostly that was for emergency purposes. Yeah. So when you see that man coming to you, you, you know something bad. Whether he's good or bad, he's bad. You think because the cable mm -hmm. man is dead. Ninety-nine percent of the time, the cable man come and oh, the God. is a dead music brain. Cable. Oh, yeah. Number one, number the dead and you bring it. So you want to know from your city cable man oh, and your city take to come through in your gap. You're starting to call ball because your people dead. Oh, and sometimes it's good news the cable man bring it to you. <laughs> but uh, you're thinking something. But most of the time it's bad news. Yeah. Most of the time it's bad oh, yeah. news. <laughs> Every man dressed in khaki suit, man. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about 69 years ago, Hurricane mm -hmm. Janet. Yeah. All right? No electricity, using mass and tools. I mean, agriculture was no, a big thing no that day. Because the everything I got is a bell. Right. Yeah, so yeah, how you all yeah, get yeah, the information? Yeah. Oh, so that was the bell Miss Bella talked. They went mm -hmm. around ringing a bell yeah, to say something. Less than a storm come in and... You know, people must protect themselves. Yeah, thank you very much for hearing that. Mm -hmm. Wow. But then children, you don't even know what it is. You know, children, now to children, my age, we were so, I would say, do, 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 do. I was studying this too. Yeah. Well, yeah, we have <laughs> internet children now. Alia? You know about the hurricane barrel? Hurricane barrel, the hurricane barrel was coming. Did you did you hear that? Did you know that? Yes. How did you hear about it? Or how did you know? Well, well, the prime minister say said when I came the Saturday night, uh -huh. somewhere I've been and I come back home, engine and daddy was talking about some storm or something coming. Okay. So I was like. I wasn't taking it like serious mm -hmm. because I wasn't like expecting just mm -hmm. that big devastation. Mm -hmm. You thought it was something like Ivan or mm -hmm. Emily. You remember them? Mm -hmm. I wasn't in it. Oh, I'm crazy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 Alia. All right, you need to beat me up. So it's the first time you're experiencing something like this. Yes. Ah. Oh, so you have never seen a storm or hurricane before. Mm. Alia, your first time, I mean, how was the experience for you? Bad. Bad? Bad, bad, bad. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, yes. so mommy Dells, go talk about it and we go understand why Alia's experience was bad and engine. Mm -hmm. Or you want to explain I why? Could say, I could say. You could say? Oh, okay, yeah. well, go ahead. I thought you were scared. Yeah. <laughs> well, the pri the they said Barry was coming around two in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I was awake to like to, waiting. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But then mama say that. Dicker Mitchell said that the hurricane would come later on so I could go and take a rest. Mm -hmm. Then when I wake up, it was like about six, five, six. I wake up, I put away some stuff a day. Then a little cousin, we had um, just a uh, pillows and thing on the ground. So just lay down, wait, mm -hmm. I go make something to eat. And just watching outside the wind, just getting heavy every second, every minute. Mm -hmm. And 
well in general mama you had the thing fan. yes the ceiling fan so the mattress we had there we take it and put it in the hall the hallway mm -hmm. so as i just going to sit down i just hear boom a loud explosion on the roof i just i take my cousin i raise her up i watch mama come she say the roof gone we had to head downstairs so me i just take to cry because i don't know what to do mm -hmm. so i take them things that was on the mattress i just put them in the blanket and wrap it up and then in jing take open up the door he take me downstairs and all i could I do was just well you take me first so mm -hmm. i all i could I do just cry cry oh, when he bring everybody down me and my little cousin in the back room mm -hmm. so i cry again and she take to crying mm -hmm. and when she mother come inside she actually why she crying mm -hmm. because alia is crying so <laughs> oh, the, oh because alia is crying she, mm -hmm. was, she was crying because she don't know she right and she just did relaxing so when you hear that you stop crying mm -hmm. was well i was yeah, no no was uh -huh. so Mama and Jane and Katanya, they day out putting on them doors and them and water just coming in. Hmm. And me and she just there and every time the wind thing in it hurt him the, yes. the noise. That was something, just, the pressure from the wind. Mm -hmm. And then when the first part over, we come outside. Mm -hmm. I didn't really go upstairs but I stand up there, I watch what happened. And then them neighbors and them was coming outside and they was looking to go up so but mama tell them go back inside because the other half of the hurricane is coming. Uh -huh. So we go back inside and the just wind the wind hurricane come back. So did you know that was the eye of the hurricane and you had another part to come? Yes. Because you I not know because I was in the NADMA competition. Uh -huh. Alia, you're brave. <laughs> Big people don't know that, and you knew it. Mm -hmm. So tell us uh, what about the NADMA competition? It's like about natural disasters, uh -huh. flash flood, hurricanes. Oh, right. You won a quiz. Mm -hmm. We won a quiz. Right. Yes, Alia. You won that quiz. Mm -hmm. That was just a few weeks before yeah, the hurricane. Yeah, a few weeks before. Mm -hmm. So they ask you all about the eye of the hurricane and everything like that. So yeah, you so, Yeah, we knew. Th there's ah, a one okay. to pack up all the important documents. Oh, so you're prepared? Mm -hmm. So what did you do? Well, daddy have a kind of ziplock thing with the passports, all the papers. So I take <laughs> the, like a, the container and I put them inside. I take some of my books, mm -hmm. put them inside and just take all them stuffs I need, put them in, all them important stuffs. Some of them stuffs are just, I don't, I can't oh, you're brave. I mean, I, I keep saying Miss Ellen and that, well, Alia as well, there's no way we could have really prepared for this hurricane, no matter what we did. Because yes, we pack away stuff, we stood away, but we had to store away the entire house. And there weren't any way we could have put the entire house. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, it was bad earlier. Yes. And with Daddy, Daddy was in Nadma? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ah, so then Daddy was not home. Alone, you know? Ah, yeah, yeah. Daddy, Daddy had to work. Uh -huh. Oh, so you were at the Nadma Center. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Alia, but I am, wow, I'm very impressed. The fact that you were, you, you're prepared. How old are you? Well, 11. 11. 11. Oh, everyone, wish Alia a happy 10. birthday. Um, Alia's birthday was on Saturday. Friday. Oh, Friday. Right. Yes, Friday. Right. Yes. Right. So, everyone, wish Alia a happy belated birthday. Alia is a big girl now. Alia is seven, 11. Alia is 11 years old now. Um, mm -hmm. Alia, I'm very much impressed with how much you prepared for the hurricane and everyone viewing this, remember to educate your kids, educate even the community about natural disasters and everything 
see Alia was able to prepare. Um, she was able to pack away some of her books <coughs> and everything, which got saved. And Alia knew not to go out during the eye of the hurricane. Great job, Alia. Great job. Good job. I'm very much impressed. Uh -huh. Wonderful. And you're a brave girl. Very brave. Miss Della and Injin. Miss yeah. De Della, Alia says she loved a, he heard a loud explosion. Boom. Yeah. Tell me about that. What happened? Well, morning we wake up as usual. The daughter said we expecting a hurricane. <clears throat> when the time they said it would have come, it didn't. It slowed mm -hmm. down. Normally, I would have get my strength from Andy, but he wasn't there. Mm -hmm. right. So I was left uh -huh. in the wilderness, mm -hmm. lost. Yes. And it depends. But anyhow, we did what we could the mm -hmm. Sunday evening, me and Alia. We went and get our neighbor and friend secured, which is Miss Ruby. Oh, she was wow. alone and she's not well. Uh -huh. So we went up the evening because you know we had rain the Sunday. Mm -hmm. The place was with a lot of rain and you cannot walk. So <clears throat> I said, I said, well, I can't, vehicle can't come up here for me to take her to bring her come and she cannot walk to come to the church. So I asked her if she wants to go by her sister in Lansa, which is Lisa. And she said, no, she is going to the downstairs. So we went, help her get whatever she had to get to water, she creeks and clothes and she put on papers and we put in the downstairs. And we a good time. Hmm. So we come back home and prepare ourselves. We go to bed. Can't sleep because we're waiting. <laughs> your mind, your whole body is tense. Who go through hurricane already? No, but we weren't looking for the chest. <laughs> Although we hear it's a monster, but still we say with God, <laughs> it won't be this bad. <laughs> Get up in the morning. I look around. We decided to go and make breakfast. Right? <laughs> it's my favorite cereal. So I decided I'm going and make some. I'm going to make the cereal. Coming up, 8 o'clock. Little drizzle coming, little wind. It wasn't nothing so severe. But we said, when the things don't pick up, we'll come downstairs. But in the meantime, we're upstairs. And Dr. Jackie sent a tracker and cut on your phone so she could track the storm where it is and the speed it's going and whatever. And the storm was a good way off from us at the time. Mm. We heard um, Charlie Man in Brunswick was post a message and say, see how it is in the marble flying like butterfly. You heard that early in the morning? Yes, maybe about after eight going nine o'clock. What? Yes, all these are flying like that. Like somewhere around, there, not too sure at the time, but uh -huh. anyway, we keep it up. <coughs> I make the rice, see them kids inside. Alian, the little grand, great grand, which is four, was four years old. <laughs> they playing, and we had a ceiling fan, and as the wind going, going. Thing, thing, thing. I tell them, I say, I like this one now because it's a long time. This <laughs> one is over 30 years old. <laughs> Hanging this. So take out the mattress there and bring it in the walkway. They take this, the um, mattress and they put it in the walkway and make the rice tea. This is maybe about after nine coming up and getting ready to go and eat the green pick up a bit. And we just hear a loud explosion. <laughs> it wasn't raging to say well the storm raging. It just something just come a loud explosion. Bam! Boom! Like a bomb explode. Just like that, you know. You blowing and it's up like a well, colour puff. Yes, it was not a heavy, it wasn't heavy wind yet. <laughs> because we say when you raging, when the storm pick up. <laughs> We would go downstairs and we were tracking the storm was a good way for mm. us when we get damaged, you know? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yes, it yeah, wasn't, yeah. It wasn't close to us. That because damage, the eye you know? passed about 11.30. Yes. Mm -hmm. And 
So this is a, maybe was about nine when we get when we start getting the outer bands. Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the outer band that knock us out. <sighs> so then when I see when I hear this bang I go, uh, just when we put had the mattress in the walkway, so I go to see what happened. When I look in it, I see clean the room and I raise my head, I see two girls when I lift up. Mm -hmm. I said, my roof gone, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I guess that by that time everybody panicked now. Right. So I said, we had to go downstairs. When he didn't come and watch, and he said, downstairs, and it started to rain. And at the same time, it started to rain heavier. Mm -hmm. The rain started coming, so we had to scramble now to go downstairs. Mm -hmm. And he brought the street, went downstairs, and I tried to see what I could take down with me. But the greatest thing is, <laughs> in everything, you love your belly, yeah? And because I make my rice tea because I wanted that the morning. And in June, after I bring those children and Ali and Araya down, said Katonia go down. And he said, they like, come and go down. I say, I come in. <laughs> and he me, I try, I say, I come in. <laughs> he said, why well, didn't I say, I go from him? Before it. I didn't want to go for my pot right in the kitchen. <laughs> when I come in with it, the force of the wind, the pot cover fall and okay. I sleep on the pot cover fall. Oh, so I bed back to pee. He pulled me, said, Go downstairs. The yes. The pot cover. <laughs> it's done in the belly, man. Because I had to face this thing here, we're just coming there. Right. You know how long it is. It's food. And your rice tea. You fell for the I rice tea. I'm scared with the pot of rice tea in my hand. <coughs> so I still get come with it, but I couldn't eat it. Because <laughs> things blowing and stuff. So right. I right. So oh, so you still. You nearly lose your life for the rice tea, and the rice tea is still who needs it. I come down because I hold on to it. I right. So I, I can't let go the pot. Right. I had the pot, so I come down with the pot in it. Lord Jesus. Jean, well, you was a man. You was bring, bringing them so downstairs, I man. I come downstairs with the dog, and were, we, we had them upstairs. We had to end up, we leave them upstairs mm -hmm. and come down. Uh, because I can't leave them outside. Right, so I'm coming down right. and pet them. Like yes. So yes. I just take them upstairs and like they know something. What's happening mm -hmm. to it? Yes, animals. So we come downstairs, but it seems like when we come down, the wind follows us. Mm. Because the wind was that raging to say, like, I don't know, to me it was it's just mm. the explosion that get everything. Yes. It's like somebody drop a bomb on the house. <laughs> and then everything is explosive, right? And it just that's Somebody oh, yesterday um last week we spoke to to Mr. Collins. Um ooh, ooh. yeah, size. We spoke to him last week and he said he saw a tornado over the water, so maybe that's what come across to y'all. Well, oh, but then he said the tornado was the second part of the somebody hurricane, but you talking about two tornadoes, but I don't Oh, you didn't see them. No, I didn't. Jin, so when he was bringing them downstairs, how was that for you? You were scared? Were they scared? No, man up or man down? No, I'm not telling them, don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> Keep yourself together. But the money, the hurricane could have taken me the field. Oh, God, Jin. Because the morning, they say the hurricane coming up about 10 o'clock, what will In truth, that, let me say something in truth, because we spoke to Lefties, and Lefties say he was in that mind truth, and he say, call in Chin and tell in Chin, make sure, do not go to the garden. Yes. Don't tell me you go, you know. I went. Oh, God, Jesus. Lamb because God. the hurricane coming 10 o'clock, and by that time, I could go and do something, I come Jesus. home and do something. So I go. I let go my animal and them. I put all them good. I put in all them in. And good thing I went and do that because all them animals would like get crash in the pen, yeah. especially those good. You because should have you have some good to go back and shelter in the pen and they get crash. You should have done it Sunday. Let them out and close the door. Well, if I had, if I had no idea what this thing is, I would have put them this in the pen. Are you new? You know? But mm -hmm. you, you a lot learned the thing about few days before. Yes, yes at the, yeah. All right, yeah, I didn't even have call you. Coming. Yes. But then now we talk. Yes. It's like the weather really coming towards us. 
They said, forceful. yes, because when we they spoke about God, it, Trinitas song, Barbados. right? Yeah, because yes. it went down, it go, go more like on Barbados side. Because it developed very, very, very fast. Let mm -hmm. me tell you, the Friday or the Saturday night, when St. Vincent Nemo reported we were going to get a major hurricane, that time that I was just saying we were going to get a storm. We didn't even know we were this going to we get were, a storm. All the advice I get, we yes, storm. yes, yes, so yes. Say, it wouldn't be that dangerous. True, true, true. So I'm going to feel, and it's like a messenger tell me the feel. <laughs> because left visit called the morning, he didn't get me. He speak to who he speak to my cousin also my said, ask me not to go in the field, please. Right. Because the thing coming on us. Right. And it would be on us around ten o'clock. Right. So when I at ten o'clock, I say I go that time go in the field. I talk, I take my donkey. I go down in the field. I let go my animal, I feed my cat, <laughs> I do whatever little thing around, and then I see the atmosphere start changing. Mm -hmm. And like a messenger tell me, get out and I run, get me donkey. As I'm meeting the gate coming after the thing start. That was like after six in the morning? Mm -hmm. No, about the, almost eight. Eight o'clock, he was outside the engine? Jesus. Because it coming ten. The eye, maybe, may mean the eye or whatever, but the outer bands in G well, Since yeah. we got up like six o'clock in the morning, I remember we went out and we did a video and we were showing the water was already surging when we watched yes. Peter Martin and them reef and them white. In Gino, they don't when freeze, they watch the Atlantic. I'm in shock. Because I'm not eating me in body too much. Yeah. <laughs> and we, the water was happening and the outer bands, because what? Feeling bronze, we can't feeling. We won't feel any. No, yeah, yeah. Ah, no, no. Mandela was winning. The houses flying like oh, you are in uh, We are. We were not happy uh, last year. It's just all of a sudden. It's just boom, boom. Because mm -hmm. I'm thinking you're exposed to the Atlantic, so you yeah, would get the winds direct. Wind. Uh, yeah, that will win. And when the wind we were getting is not wind, we sometimes normally would get. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like 30, 40 miles an hour wind, this kind of wind. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. So right. when we hear houses in the mangroves going, mm -hmm. it, it was kind of. Oh, still only for. Only for. All in the freeze here. Yeah. Okay. Because watch. Yes. Yeah, so when, when the roof go, mm -hmm. I still want to believe to myself in not only the winter could go. That's when the tornado strike. Mm. Because it just come out one lick. You know that the wind come up, it just the rest of boom. Mm -hmm. And things start to rip across and fly and all kinds of things. You know? Wow. Mm -hmm. So just after you got home from the farm, that's when everything started? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Engine. <laughs> okay, so you <laughs> got home and when you reach home, well, the wind starts, things going crazy, and you, mm -hmm. uh, the roof go, and you say, downstairs. So yeah. you, you, you took those children and I you... took them downstairs, I take Ali and the little one down first. Mm -hmm. Because you know, the adult could help themselves or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then I come down with the, with the lag with Catania. Mm -hmm. When we come out from the house, we cannot come out in the house with Catania. But you didn't want to come out, Nairia. <laughs> the wind take her mm -hmm. to slam she against the wall. Mm -mm. But she has so much experience, she go down low. Oh, that's Catania. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. So we creep out on the line, come down, get you downstairs. And then the line go for the, the line come down here, she's <laughs> fighting for she rise. <laughs> 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 I have to ball on that thing. Yes. And then we come out in this danger and go downstairs. Yes. But then we rice. have to ball on him to come out too. Every Lord. day, like he's watching how he has one as well. Oh, yes. 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 Can't I can't believe, mean, like he's shocked. Not that I'm shocked. But are, are they holding on to the grass though? Because I want to slam over and mash up. I don't know how you could stop it. As I let go the door to come down, says I'm not meet on the glass, and I have bam up to the door. The door mash. Jesus Christ. So the door could have mash with the hole in it. Yes, yes, yes. Why are you holding the door to And so then you come down in all the wind down, says. When you get down, says, no. What's about those doors and everything down, says? Did the wind come in? That was a different. Slam, says, with the doors. 
Because the ladder on this front door here. No, when we come down downstairs, we didn't expect that. No. We come down and we go inside there. We ain't even get a chance to really breathe, you know. Mm -hmm. As we like the wind follow us and come down. You know, sometimes mosquito, you go and place mosquito walking behind you like you. Mm -hmm. Wind come down. As we come in inside and we close the door, it's like the wind fighting to open the door to come in too. Jesus. Yes. Yeah, they're telling you when the wind take with us with the door when we come in and we close up. They are on this door. The other thing is two pieces of door, tap and bottom. Mm. Try on them to cut on one piece of the door and I on the top because the top must fight into open. Mm. And the wind pushing me back with the door. Mm. And Catania said pushing against the door to keep, make sure we don't open and we. I had to call for the broom mm -hmm. and break the stick and chuck the broom. Good thing the counter not far from the door. Good. Chuck it on the counter and chuck the door so the door can move. When you go to chuck the door, the wind push him down, you know. What? Yes. The wind push him so we, far. when we are cut and I hold on to the top piece, and the top piece now beside me and cut and I pressure on it, they lock in the latch. So the wind realized it can't move with. He knocked out the door from the inch inside. <laughs> I had to grab the door and fit it up back before the wind could get inside. <laughs> and now we had to spring on that door to keep it because you had nothing to really keep it. Yeah, mm -hmm. Inside there was a mashup boy. Yeah. yeah. But the one thing I make sure I keep myself focused. Eh? Nice. And no panic. And I ask nice. them, don't panic. If we panic, it was for us. Mm -hmm. And we keep the door, we stay on that door. If we didn't stay on that door, it didn't happen nothing. Yeah, so he asking me for nail and hammer. <laughs> nail and hammer, where do you see that now? <laughs> Listen, what's about those trees in here? I know you have a lot of fruit trees, mango trees, damsel trees. What happened with those trees not during even, the heart? Not even in the yard, everywhere in the yard. Right. Yeah. I mean, whether the, it damaged the house or any, or, oh, what, or what did you no, see? No, no tree damage, no, no, no tree damage. This mango no. tree, yeah? if you look at it now, mm -hmm. it was like a dry tree by the, the ta and the hurricane bark finish. Right. Strip everything off the everything, everything like leaves. It's only the pieces of branch which stand up and it's because all the leaf go, the mango tree didn't go. This was a big mango tree. It knock it down towards the south. So that's about watch. that one. Uh -huh. <laughs> knock it down towards the south. I said the mango tree gone by. That is one of the first phase. Then the thing come and it cease. But we know that is only the eyes. The next part come. <laughs> when the next part come, it take up the mango tree from the south and it bring it where you see light on to the not flat. So, so it turned the, the, a big opposite. mango tree like that, it just turn it around? Mm -hmm. Up, opposite direction, straight away. <laughs> where the man mango tree, they light on there 20 something. Mm -hmm. Everything strip right down, oh, some God. light down, some we strip everything. Some somebody, it, somebody get pulled up. Some uh -huh. pull up. Mm -hmm. The roots. Well, mm -hmm. one, what didn't get much damage is the citrus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, when I look, there's only, let me say, 20% of the citrus we will we'll get bad damage. Okay. The mangoes and them, 90% of them get mm -hmm. Not 90, everything get damaged. You know, some of them looking to spring back. Mm -hmm. That big mahogany tree where we had the, the, the leather so oh, she's right. branded. Everything stripped down. A picture like All that. the branches gone. I know what happened with burial and them tamarind tree and them. Yeah. Almost 90% of the tamarind and trees coconut. were uprooted. And coconut. 90, 95% <laughs> of the coconut tree in Chariko gone. Yes. They cut all of them head. Oh, that yes, is... But yeah. we, we think it, we ain't finished talk about the second half, you know. Uh -uh. What? So you're more? I didn't realize. Yeah. Well, the well, second the, half would be more than The yes. second half, the first half when it passed, we come out outside and we look around. We, and my house was the only house with the roof around. That, that did what? Lost this roof? Lost this roof ah. in the first half. Uh -huh. So when we come out and we stand up here, 
watching Tasha then call and think. And I see they're going, leaving to go up the road. So I call out to them and tell them, don't go nowhere, go back home. Mm -hmm. The hurricane over here, this is just the center, and they did go back inside. The little grand come out and she stand up and she watch. In the they want nail and hammer, we have a little storeroom under the step. I go and I grab the hammer and the nail. And by that time, the second half is back on us again. So back to work. They had to put nail to nail up the, the door that they're holding on to. And I on this one here. When are they here? Out the dog house. I see the dog house sailing. You can see it. The wind blowing. You're not watching my thing here. I watch them sailing go down the road. And you know, cut on your ground. You wash the machine? Mm hmm. What? And every time they fly to the door, the child turn back and she watch me. She brave, you know. Mm -hmm. Little much she brave. She said, Mama, you are right. I said, Nice. And then this door here, I put my head on the door and I, because I don't weak already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I drink tea and I don't fight it. <laughs> right. yes, yes. And I hold the door down in the middle and then hold it. I put that door on mm -hmm. When this thing over, we stay inside, make sure you finish because sometimes it could die. Don't worry. Yes, build back up. Mm -hmm. Make sure we stay there and the thing and we say mm -hmm. yes, it's over and we come out outside. Mm -hmm. Again the second time. The little great grand four years. And she come out and she stand up and she watch it say, Mama, mm -hmm. where are the houses? Oh God, yeah, mm -hmm. I yeah, yeah. All the houses gone. Gone. See the houses gone, I think. Oh uh, god. Then, all this uh, thing is wrong. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And you, and then them time you are to be saying, even though your roof went in the first part of it, at least you, yeah, you have and, a structure. And, and yes, and yes, yes. What? Dry stuff. Oh, water, God. Water coming in. It was, <laughs> it was hard. It was hard. Second, I've got like a big foot on first. Tasha them follows and she tell me where the ones who are the prison. Everybody is there, you know? Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. you say all of us is there. So when you go across by the field, what yeah. happened there? The only thing was standing was me. Bah, no trees, no house, no, trees, no, no pen, no hunting no, no, them gone. gone. No my crops, gone. no nothing. And nothing. some of them, you know, see, I've seen pizza clothes, yeah, I've seen pizza that they can bury it open. Please. Well, I'm not seeing the garden in, in, in your house. Everything. But them can't see them peace. Everything gone. Everything gone. All the food scattered and teach away. Animal and food, everything. Everything. I lose Jesus. every everything, you know. Jesus mm -hmm. Christ of God. Yeah, man, but thank oh. God for that. Listen, we have to thank God because for life. life. Oh, yes. Most importantly, Most because yeah, with man. Janet, Janet came in the night, but Beryl came in the day, and Beryl came in the night. A lot of people. He barely come in the night. I'll know with he's still burying dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, maybe. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. This God is a good God. God amen. 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 Mm -hmm. I God. see you have a cross behind you. That cross ain't going nowhere. No way. <laughs> and up, upstairs in my house, the only thing I was standing uh -huh. that the thing didn't take was the cross and the rose. Ah, Both yeah. of them. God is good. God is still. God is still. Well, you know, all the animals them they are stray. I have no pen. No, no, no. They go there everywhere, taking, taking, and they know already. They do. Where is that? What advantage taking on me? When somebody came by me, maybe a day or two after, and they come inside the house, they say, "What, Della?" The only thing standing in the house is your cross. I say, yes, your mm -hmm. cross and the rosary. Yeah, Jesus, 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 Jesus is there. Jesus is there. Alia, wow, what an experience. Uh -huh. Now I understand why you say that you was really scared on it. Yeah, so like when much. rain fall now, you, are you still scared when you hear light, when you see lightning, you hear thunder and rain falling? You still no, scared? No. You, you're no. okay now? Yeah. Yeah. And you're happy that school school will be reopening next Monday, right? Thank you. Are you happy coming entrance time? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Stay brilliant, darling. Yeah, yeah, it's very, 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 very brilliant. Uh-huh. 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 When he was about three. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 When the auntie house burned. Oh. He was the only person in the house. Oh, Alia? Mm-hmm. Where in Cargo? In the yes, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. I didn't know about that. Yes, around. And so what she do? She run out? Alia, where did you run out? When I was sleeping. Mm-hmm. So the door was open. I just opened the door. I sit down on the step. And I just... Just see... You, you don't want to talk about it. I could see... It was, I was just asking it's for help. And somebody hear me yes. crying on the other side. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they come and they take me. Ah, uh-huh. oh, Jesus. And the house was on fire, is mm-hmm. it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the house burned. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Alia, God is good. Yes, God I mean, is good. She was about good. three, and, and she yeah, had to pass in front of the fire to go inside. What? What is a good thing? She didn't stand inside and just watching the fire in front. She and the ball in. Which room was she had to pass? In the other room, in front of the room where the fire is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yes, and then Louis mm-hmm. says somebody that come and they say, Daisy House on fire, and then she's here. Uh-huh. Alia Balin, so Louis run. Oh, I remember when she was born and born, she was, oh. Yes, Alia was in the house. Ah. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh my God, Alia. So this is her second trauma. She's strong. <laughs> She's strong. <laughs> She's strong because your father mm-hmm. is a strong man. Yes, yeah? yes, and yes, yes, strong. yes. And brilliant as well. Mm-hmm. And then the fact that you said that her dad uh, um, was an Adma, I mean, he was serving, yeah, he had to be out. To be yes, too. yes. So that's the thing about it. Some families that had to go through the hurricane, they were separated. So he couldn't help you. It was yeah. just y'all here to do um, what y'all had to do. When he came home the day after. Right. The night. The night. He came home the night. Oh, God, we passed me. He walked through all them things. And mm-hmm. he said, he asked if we go in and tell him yes, I say, but no, we didn't get to go by Ruby. That time he started to take out his clothes. He said, what? He said, no. Oh, so you ran across to. one time? So he had to put on back his boots and his jacket and go up to make sure she okay. that Ruby was okay because <laughs> the truth is I couldn't go because yes. I was shaking. Yes, yes, So he yes. come back oh, and when he go, he said, what? He had so much trouble to get him by Ruby because Ruby, there was jammed. Ah, uh, something jammed the door, and then he would try and get in. And here's what she said she had water, the, the place the water came in. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, the morning when he went to back, somebody had passed before and gone below the water. Okay, so, wow, fighting without him. Yeah. yeah, and he's been there from since that night, and he's out now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hardly home to to help you back with your roof. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, yes, 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 yes. God, God is good. God is good. He will work things out in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you all very much. What an experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Oh. God is good. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-